Good day, viewers. You are welcome to Gov TV, the official television ministry of the Gospel Faith Mission International. The Daily Devotional on Gov TV. Today, I'm happy to see you, and I'm so glad that you are alive. Before we go into the Word of God, let's say this word of prayer. Father, we thank you for today. We appreciate you because you are God and you change it not. We bless you for all our viewers out there, for their families. Lord, we pray as we go into your word, let the entrance of your word give life and understanding that at the end of today's devotional, our lives will appreciate. Thank you because of answered our prayers, because we prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This week, our focus the topic for this week is the Christ of the churches. Lesson 3, the Christ of the churches. And the other topic is Christ as the final say. What the youth topic is, who cares, is a question, who cares. And the intermediate topic is, are you worthy? Are you worthy? Today, being the 20th day of June, 2015, Saturday, 20 June 2015, our focus is a people belonging to God. That is the focus for today, a people belonging to God. Our text is taken from the book of 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10. 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10. I will read from here. As you open your Bibles also, join me as I read. Verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past you were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Mercy. Hallelujah. This is the epistle that Peter wrote to the church, the people that were scattered in Galatia, in Potios, in Asia, and other parts of the world. And today, this same message is coming to us as the church of Christ. Remember, the general topic is the Christ of the churches. This message is for us. There is a general call, a general call, and also a special call. The general call is for everybody who come to Jesus, but there's a special call for those who have been chosen separately for a particular assignment. The passage says, a chosen, a chosen generation. A generation that is separated unto God for an assignment. That is why you are a holy nation. And that is why you are dedicated unto God. You are supposed to be dedicated unto God as a holy nation because God, your God, is holy. He said, I am holy, you should be holy. And also, a peculiar people, special people, specially made, specially created for an assignment. You are a citizen of heaven, not just anybody. Not just, you can't just do anything the way people do it because you are a peculiar people. A people chosen by God to establish his kingdom on earth. Jesus said, the kingdom come, that will be done. The kingdom of God is to be established on it, and that is to be established by us believers, the choosing of the Lord. Now, if you, as a child of God, you call yourself a child of God, and you live the way others live, you do the things others do, you talk the ways others talk, you are not yet there because you don't know why you have been called, you don't know why you have been chosen. A child of God is an ambassador of heaven. As it is in heaven, it should be here on earth. If any believer who is saying is a child of God is yet to key into this, then that person has not realized the purpose of Christ in his life. And the later part of that passage says that you may show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. There is something to show. There is something about God that the world needs to see. People are in darkness everywhere. People need to see the light through you, through me. People are in confusion, crisis everywhere. People need to come out through you. There is something about God to be seen 
through you. The world is waiting for you today. If you have been sitting and you have not been doing something for God, you have not, you have not presented yourself to God for service. Or if you are just living your life, falling today, rising tomorrow, a lot of people are waiting to see God through you. I pray as you position yourself today, the world will see the glory of God, the praise of God through you in the name of Jesus. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood. You belong to God. Your money belongs to God. Your time belongs to God. Your resources belong to God. You are not just yourself. It's not about you. It is God first, then you and others. If it be you before God, then you belong to yourself. But if you belong to God, God will take care of you. God will take care of other things that belong to you. And as a man and a woman, a child of God, who has separated himself for God, who identified that he belongs or she belongs to God, that person will enjoy the blessings of God. You are not a foreign, you are not a, a, a citizen of this world. You are a foreigner. You are not here permanently. You are here temporarily. One day, one day, the owner of your soul will request for it. Now, when you come before him, you have to present what you have done as his ambassador on earth. May your works not be burned, consumed with fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The point of emphasis is once you were not shown mercy, but now you have been shown mercy. That means there was a point in time in your life that you were living in darkness. You were struggling with life. You were battling with sins, the nature of sins you inherited from your fathers. You lived your life and you almost lost that life. But mercy came to you. And that mercy has brought you out of darkness into his light. So that is why this point of emphasis is very important for us to know that to know what God and Christ Jesus did for us on the cross of Calvary. He paid the price that we may come out by mercy into his marvelous light and enjoy him the more. The prayer point today, as we pray together, we will say after me. Lord, continue to decorate me with your mercy and give me the grace to respond with my good conduct. Lord, continue to decorate my life with your mercy and let me enjoy your grace to respond with my good conduct in the name of Jesus. Thank you because I've answered. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with me, I congratulate you because from today you will continue to be decorated with God's mercy. And your life also shall be transformed daily by the renewing of your mind. It is a personal decision. God has his own part. You have your own part. And I pray for you that every day of your life, your steps, your pursuits, your desires shall be ordered by God in the name of Jesus. You will not just talk the way others do. You will not just think the way others think. You will not act the way the others act. You will not behave the way others behave. You will not dress the way others dress. Because you are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You belong to God. Thank you because you have answered our prayers. Thank you for your word that has come to us. We we'll bless your name for the viewers and the listeners. Oh, Father, we pray that as they are made up their mind to dedicate themselves to you, Father, you will accept them. You will help them. Grace you will supply to be transformed by the renewing of their minds daily and daily like unto you. Blessed be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. And um, I want to encourage you to join us same time, same station tomorrow. And if you have any questions, you need counseling, you need prayers, you see the screen, you see, you see our link on the screen, call us, contact us. We are there for you. 24, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We can reach us through the numbers displayed on the screen. And before we meet again, I pray that the peace of God will reign in your life. And tomorrow, join us, and we will be here to bless you with the word of God. Thank you. God bless you.